A warm welcome to The Social Show. My name is Mary and we, you are listening to The Social Show. Everything CSI, CSI, uh, anything that has to do with creating shared value, which is actually what I'm going to be talking about a little bit today, is exactly what you're going to hear about on the show. We are uh, fundamentally about looking looking at how corporates are contributing to making sure our communities uh, prosper. But more than that, also how government is also uh, making sure that we prosper. It's always important that we make sure that those two are walking to, working together. But more than that, what are we as individuals doing to really change um, our country, our continent and ultimately the world uh without any further ado i'm gonna start off the news After running successful pilots in both Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal, Edgar's recently launched its Unite Orange Day campaign in the Western Cape. The initiative is run in association with United Nations Unite to End Violence Against Women campaign, which aims to raise awareness, increase resources and galvanize action to end violence against women and girls around the world. Edgar's, together with its various partners in the public, private and NPO sector, via the Unite Orange Day campaign, is utilizing its expertise expertise and network in the fashion sector to advance skills and development and entrepreneurship among survivors of gender-based violence. The initiative entails three months of accredited training and sewing, followed by three months of work placement. The ultimate goal of the program is to allow participants to gain a sense of hope and confidence in the abilities, opening their hearts and minds to the possibility of an independent future through creativity. In other news, a multi-stakeholder initiative aimed at equipping unemployed young people with skills and opportunities to participate in the country's marine tourism sector has been launched launched in Port St. John's uh, Eastern Cape. The initiative is in line with Operation Pakisai Ocean's Economy and Coastal and Marine Tourism subsector to boost employment and open new frontiers for marine tourism while creating much needed jobs. The partnership compri- comprising of the South African Maritime Safety Authority, Authority as part of its corporate social investment uh, investment uh, initiative, together with the KwaZulu-Natal Sharks Board Maritime Center of Excellence and Port St. John's local municipality, launched the first stage of the Youth Maritime uh, pro- uh, Development Program in July. Youth in the area are being offered a series of lectures and practical training and skills such as deep sea diving, spear fishing skills, lifeguarding, and commercial diving training. On completion of the project, uh, the trained youths will be in, in a position to be employed at other sp- ports outside their local uh, communities. And lastly, now news, new guidelines are being presented or have been presented rather to the G20 this past weekend and they will change the way in which individuals, companies, investors and regulators manage the financial risks of climate change. These risks include physical ev- phys- physical events such as changing weather patterns and natural disasters as well as new technologies and regulations. As big investors adopt the guidelines, the companies in their portfolios will be pressured to report on climate change. And this will make it easier for investors of all kinds to understand the impact of climate change on their portfolios and to assess new opportunities such as new products and services which will be required and developed. The new guidelines will create a common language for talking about climate change as a financial risk. And this will drive detailed reporting on how climate change is impacting investment portfolios, investment decisions, financial performance and strategies to manage the risk. This concludes our news for the day. Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za. 
Here's a new sort of challenge that uh, corporations, especially private corporations, have found themselves uh, dealing with, uh, especially in Africa. I think it's kind of a new concept. However, it's been sort of being uh, used all over the world um, in different places and has been really gaining some sort of momentum. And that is the concept of creating shared value. Now, I know I've been speaking about CSR and CSI a lot in the show, and that's what we fundamentally are about uh, at Social TV. Again, if you want to know a little bit about what we do, go to www.social-tv.co.za and you will get the gist of it. However, we have started incorporating um, creating shared value as it is sort of this new challenge uh, for corporations who do practice CSI and CSR um, to follow this uh, new principle, which was um, started out by Michael Porter and Mark Kramer. Uh, and they sort of described the concept in a Harvard Business Review piece that described how to create economic value in a way that also creates value for society. And I really thought that I think a lot of people don't really understand what creating shared value is. And um, there was a really amazing um, uh, uh, a, a conference that happened quite a while ago about a few weeks ago which was also aimed at shared value growth and it was um, really talking about how Africa is either getting it or not getting it when it comes to shared value however I had a lot of questions in my head when I thought about it a lot of people call CSV sort of glorified CSR and CSI a lot of people say it's actually all the same thing a lot of people say it's very different so I would really like to know from you if you know anything about shared value and the concept and 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 how you relate to it if you are in CSI or you are in the CSR space whether you think it is a better model whether you think it is um, you know the same thing whether you 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 completely believe in it it'd be very nice to hear um, some opinions and if you want to uh, just send them to me at social one TV is the handle on Twitter so before I get into um, what I think about CSR or CS CSR in comparison um, with CS uh, with CSV. Let me just give you a, sort of an idea as to what um, creating shared value means. So, creating shared value is a business concept that was in, as I said, a Harvard Business Review article uh, called "Strategy and Society: The Link Between Competitive Advantage and Co- Corporate Social uh, Responsibility." Now, the concept is further expanded in January um, with a follow-up piece entitled Creating Shared Value, Redefining Capitalism and the Corporation uh, and the Role of Corporation in Society. Again, written by Michael E. Porter, a leading authority on competitive strategy and the head of the Institute for Strategy and Competitiveness at Harvard Business School. And it was also um, written by Mark R. Kramer, who was a Kennedy School at Harvard as well and the co-founder of F. Um, SG. In fact, I think I did speak to him when he came to South Africa um, at the uh, at the Shared Value conference that happened, and um, you can find that interview on social TV. Now, the article provides insights and relevant examples of sort of companies um, that have developed deep links between their business strategies. And corporate social responsibility. Now, in 2012, Kramer and Porter, with the help of a global non-profit advisory, FSG, founded the Shared Value Initiative to enhance knowledge sharing and uh, practice surrounding uh, creating shared value globally. Um, And the central premise, I mean, behind creating shared value is that the competitiveness of a company and the health of the community around it are mutually dependent, recognizing and capitalizing on these connections between societal and economic progress has the power, according to Kramer, to unleash the next wave of global growth to redefine capitalism. So we're basically saying that um, the way in which companies make profit can is is embedded can be embedded rather in how they sort of solve societal issues um and also those things can those two things can work together however critics on the you know have said a lot of different things about the uh the, the, this new shared value model and they argue that porter and kramer basically tell the old story of economic rationality as one and the as, as as the one and the only tool for smart management with faith in innovation and growth, and they celebrate a capitalism that now needs to adjust a little bit. Um, a lot of people say that they regard the author's arguments as a one-trick pony approach, with a little chance that an increasingly critical civil society will buy into such a story. 
Okay, so I'm just going to give you a few ways in which companies can create shared value. And maybe if you are in CSI and CSR, you can also just let me know um, once I've t- told you about these opportunities, um, what are the differences between what strategies you're currently implementing in your uh, business, um, in your corporation, in your private institution? What are the differences between that and what I'm about to tell you? So the first opportunity that can create shared value is in, in a company is by reconceiving products and markets. Now, companies can meet social needs while better serving existing markets ex- and accessing new ones or lowering costs through innovation. Another one, the, um, the second one, is redefining productivity in the value chain. Now, companies can improve the quality, quantity, cost, and the reliability of inputs and distribution while they simultaneously act as a steward for essential natural resources and drive economic and social development. And lastly, um, enabling local cluster development. Now, companies do not operate in isolation from their surroundings to compete and thrive. For example, they need reliable local um, suppliers, a functioning infrastructure of roads, telecommunication, access to talent, and an effective and predictable legal systems. Many approaches to CSR pit um, businesses against society, emphasizing the costs and the limitation of compliance with externally imposed social and environmental standards, while CSV acknowledges these trade-offs between short-term profitability and social uh, for or environmental goals, but focuses more on the opportunities for competitive advantage from building social value. So um, I, I I kind of get the concept of social value, um, creating social value because um, it's really about making sure that you understand that uh, your business works in uniformity with all of its surroundings and you fundamentally from the beginning of your business from the core of your business from the actual execution of your business you are already um in embedded in making sure that you know um your community is served so it's not necessarily you know the csi you know csi kind of sometimes is a, is a, is a uh, uh, industry on itself by itself it's a part of a business it's not necessarily part of the business it's part one one element of a business and what shared value is looking at is how do we make sure that um, um, we incorporate this this sort of societal ethical mantra within our everyday uh, workings whether we're working with people whether we're trying to get talent whether we're, we need you know better roads or better buildings and better hygiene better sanita- sanitation how do we make sure that all of those things work together um to to not only give them a sort of profitability but to also um you know fix or, or try and solve societal problems so that's the kind of distinction is that it's not far removed from the business and the core of the business which is to make a profit right we all everyone starts a business to make some sort of profit um to make it a little bit easier for you to understand, I'd say it's basically um, the concept of social entrepreneurship. And I know I always talk about it because I'm such an avid um, supporter of the concept. It's basically making a profit for yourself, but also making a profit that's going to be conducive to um, your community and the way you operate and the people you work with, your employees, the, their families. So how do we make sure that those strategies are are a little bit, a little bit smarter and a little bit... Um, and, and and just just can 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 encompass everybody um fairly um a few companies have been marked as the top 3 sort of companies that are doing well in shared value i'm just going to give you a few this was um noted in the forbes in a forbes magazine um sort of the, sort of the, they kind of reviewed um three examples which really stood out for socially responsible corporations but corporations that are really doing well within the concept of csv um, the first is Adidas Group. Now, Adidas has partnered with the Nobel Laureate, um, Laureate sorry, uh, Muhammad Yunus Microfinancing Organization, it's called Grayman Bank, to manufacture a low-cost shoe for the poor in Bangladesh. Now, the shoes will be cheap and affordable for the poor. Besides, it will um, protect them from any diseases, also said Yunus. And this program is a perfect example of the shared value principle, both for Adidas and for the game and bank. So 
that's kind of an example of what shared value would mean. It would say, okay, so we work in this area. This is where we make our shoes. How do we make sure that the community gets some sort of um, compensation for this? So we make our shoes a little, like really, really, really cheap so that they can wear them and they can experience the kind of, uh, you know, work that they're doing. And it's also going to protect them and it's going to be affordable and they don't have to be walking around barefoot. But uh, we can't neglect the fact that Adidas does have sort of footprint within um, within you know Bangladesh but also they are partnering with local local companies finance organizations which is also a, a shared concept a shared value concept right and then we also have BMW now BMW uh, the BMW Gangham lab is a mobile laboratory which will travel to nine major cities worldwide over six years now it's led by the international inter- interdisciplinary teams of emerging talents in the areas of urbanism architecture art design science technology education and sustainability the lab will address issues of contemporary urban life through programs and public discourse its goal is to explore new ideas experiment and ultimately um, to create uh, forward-thinking solutions for uh, urban life. This program establishes a social purpose for BMW that could help address the exclusiveness and elitism of the ultimate driving machine. Um, I don't know if this is the best best example, but I kind of get it. Um, the sort of the idea of traveling, the idea of you know they they're driving to different major cities, and you probably using BMW the uh, BMW car. Um, so that's sort of like a, a sort of PR spin where they do get some sort of profitability out of um, the, the the car being driven around in these specific areas. But then, with that being said, these public discourse and these um, life programs, specifically in the areas that they've launched, are going to obviously help the kind of communities um, that they reach, which is which is great. Another one, which is um, uh, really. Uh, a, a good a good example of shared values hj haynes now haynes has launched a micronutrient campaign to combat the threat of iron deficiency anemia and vitamin uh, and vitamin and min- mineral malnutrition among infants and children in the developing world more than 5 million children in 15 developing countries have received sachets of vitamin and mineral powders that have been approved by unicef and the world uh, health organization at a cost effective treatment for iron deficiency remarkably at a cost of a little more than two cents per sachet a child's micronutrient needs for a year can be met for an annual total of 150 a one not 150 one dollar one dollar 50 pounds i guess 50 cents i don't know <laughs> um one dollar 50 and this uh heinz uh program combines shared value with the extraordinary social roi so they are quite a number of examples and if you have any more examples of any companies that are doing well within the shared value space please don't forget to let me know at social one tv on our twitter even on facebook you can let us know uh social tv or you could just send me an email at press at social dash tv and you can give me some great examples of create uh, creating shared value or you could give me the sort of um what do you think why you think it doesn't work why you think it won't work in in a country such as this one or in a continent such as this one now csv has been said that it's a concept that actually supersedes csr for it is a way for corporations to sustain in the competitive capitalistic market market where uh, you know, CSR focuses on reputation with placing value and doing good by societal pressure. It generates both economic and societal benefits relative to the cost in real competition for maximizing the pro- the profit. So again, the difference is really in about in in unlimited resource, um, which um, CSR finds itself. CSR finds itself that it has a budget, it has a limitation, it has a specific focus. Where CSV is 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 about almost every single aspect of having a healthy team having a healthy uh, corporation and having a healthy commitment to your community um without losing any money um because everything that you do invest when you do invest it and you do it right um it will in 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 the long term you know serve the people that are around and the people that you serve um so that's the difference and you know instead of instead of being pushed by external factors csv is sort of internally generated uh, and not confined to any law any any sort of 
um, restrictions within that CSI and CSR can be, which I agree with. However, I also think that um, creating CS, cr- creating shared value can also wimp out a little bit, um, for lack of a better word, because um, what CSI is, is that it is, directly looking at a specific societal problem that is affecting um, a specific group of people where you know with csv um a company can get away with saying that they're they're they're, they're creating social as uh, you know they're, they're they're they are sort of contributing to the social social investment by basically having a wellness program and i don't think that is um I don't think I don't think that is enough. I don't think that's enough, and that's why I think the shared value concept is amazing. But it, it has to work hand in hand with CSI. There needs to be a specific focus of actually changing a specific issue in the community. Um, if if you are in the community that, for instance, I know um, Anglo American has um, a, a mine um, in. In, in, I think it was in, in Northwest somewhere that I went to. I just forgot the name. And they had an amazing initiative where they were helping the community in which they were operating. And not only by creating jobs, which is great, but also they were investing in the schools and making sure that their staff was great, making sure that they were making um, you know, these beautiful boards where the schools can be interconnect, inter- interconnected with technology devices. They were giving away bursaries. They were really, you know, they had an invested... Uh, concept and invested line and, 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 and direction as to who they were trying to help, why they were trying to help them and um, the kind of issues that, that they needed to, 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 to combat in order for the kids to go to school and, 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 and have a great education. Right. And that was a CSI, um, that was a CSI giveaway and that's what they focused on. However, beyond that, they also have specific programs within their 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 establishment where they train um you know people in the in the area. They also there was there's this huge tavern around that school I remember and hostel which was very dangerous for this for the students. So what they did is that they have after school camps, maths camps so kids can just be kept busy. And um you know, it, it sort of translates and went beyond just their own profitability and trying to change, um, just to, to not only change the concept of, um, you know, uh, making sure the, com- the community is happy, but they also had their own vein of CSR. Um, CSR and, and, and that is what I think works. I think we need to make sure that they kind of work together that you do have a CSI department in your company. You do. You have a CSR entire group of people who are working in that space. But with that being said, you also have incorporated within your business ethics and your morale CSV. And CSV is literally just by making sure that whatever it is you're doing is conducive, whatever it is that you are portraying or selling or whatever it is that you're doing um, in terms of your business is is highly uh, uh you know, uh, aware of the the the, the things that the, the issues around in your community, but more than that, aware of your employees, aware of climate change, aware of evi- the environment, aware of um, all of the different things that 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 may hinder your business and how you can change that and how you can make it beneficial to your employees and your workers and those who are getting your goods and services so i do think that they work hand in hand i do think there is still space and there'll always be space for csi and csr i think it's amazing when i see companies donating to neisner relief for instance donating to um these different issue areas that are being affected um by 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 things that aren't necessarily within the community in which they work. Um, so we can just see that contribution from a disaster relief perspective, even from just, um, you know, different orphanages and that kind of thing, or just donating their time or volunteering. I think that's very important. However, I definitely also think that CSV is the new way in which business owners or, or prospering or, or, or up-and-coming business owners should look at creating um you know, surrounding their business uh, idea around how do we make sure that um, we have embedded um, the the knack or the willingness to help change societal problems or fix societal problem, problems while making our profit, not exclusively or um, 
uh, not making those two things uh, different and 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 really um uh, looking at profitability on its own looking at profitability in not only money and also uh, m- rewarding your community so it can reward you back um if, if that makes any sense but anyway um if you have any issues or any questions about csv please don't forget you can ask me and i will get the relevant people to answer you um i know shift development is a huge um corporation and not huge but i mean they they're really big in csv i can get on and we can just talk about csv a little bit further on the show um however if you want to know a little bit about what social tv is doing this week you can go to www.social-tv.co.za and we will um have the lowdown in all things csi csr and csv and csv um this is a lovely show i am getting better I was a bit sick, but I'm getting better. Thank you, God. <laughs> um, and that concludes our show for the day. Again, catch me same time, same place, 9.30 to 10. Speaking about everything CSI and CSV and CSR only on The Social Show. Brandlive.co.za.